guys, what is going on? Sam Garvin here again with another Black Ops 3 Zombies tutorial. Now today we're going to be looking at upgrading the KT-4 to the Masamune. Now this gun is absolutely sick. And my god, I love Zetsuo Onoshima. This map is so hard, it's so challenging, so to have this gun, it is really, really helpful. Plus, you need it for the Easter egg. Let's go ahead and jump into this guide, guys. I'm going to make it super easy, painless for all you beginners out there, and even for you expert players. Without further ado, let's jump into this awesome tutorial. Alright guys, so this first thing that you are going to need to upgrade the KT-4 is of course the normal KT-4. If you don't have the KT-4 yet, just go ahead and check the description below. I will have a link to it on my channel. Anyway, once you get that regular KT-4, all we do is go to the back of the map behind Lab A and shoot the spider web. Once you shoot the spider web, you can go down the tunnel and you will trigger a spider boss fight. Now this boss fight isn't too hard guys, all it is is to keep moving and shoot the spider boss when her mouth is glowing. Once she starts spewing up her throw up or summoning her spider babies, just shoot her mouth and after you do that for about 3 minutes, you will have completed the spider boss and all you do is run over to her dead body, look inside her mouth, hold your action button and you will pick up her fang. Once you have this fang, you have the first part of the KT4 and you only have two left to go. Alright guys, so for the second part, what we have to do is finish all of our challenges at the Ritual Summoning area. If you are playing with more than one person, they need to finish their challenges too. But as long as you finish your challenges, what will happen is lightning will strike this podium here. Once it does, pull out your zombie shield and allow the shield to be electrified. Once it's electrified, make your way over to Lab B and that small cage that seemed to have nothing to do with the map before now has a huge importance. Go ahead and pull out your electrified zombie shield and melee the green switch. Once you do, the cage will open and have a friend send you down. If you are playing on solo, all you have to do is melee the green switch and it will send you down naturally. Once you're at the bottom to the secret room here, you will see a small skeleton holding a vial of serum. Go ahead and pick up that vial and now you officially have two thirds of the Masamune done. Once again guys, if you are on solo, you can do every one of these steps. It will just go ahead and activate naturally. So this third step seems to be the most difficult for people guys, but I promise this is one of the easiest, if not the easiest step. All we are going to do is head down to the basement area. Once we're here, we're going to head over to the sewer pipeline. Once you get to that sewer pipeline, make sure you take the one on the left, and when you fly through it, there will be a rock full of element 115 on your right hand side. Once you go past that rock, all you do is hit square and it will fill your bucket full of rainbow water or oil water, whatever you guys want to call it. Anyway, I'm just going to show you a still picture of exactly where you have to hold your action button to get this special water. Good luck guys, once you do it a few times, it's super super easy. Next, you guys are going to head into the bunker and go down the door right of Pack-a-Punch. On your left hand side, you will see some purple water. Go in front of that purple water, pull out the skull of Nonsopwe, and use Mesmerize. What that will do is open a secret cipher, allowing you to uncover hidden walls in the map. Once you have done that, all you do is head back down to the basement and go to the right where Mule Kick is. Jump in the water here and swim all the way down to the back where you initially got the plant for the KT-4. Once you make it all the way to that back wall, we are going to use the Mesmerize again on the Skull of Nansapwa and open up a secret passage. Now all you have to do is plant a regular seed and water it with your special water. Do this for three rounds and you will have your final plant and your final part for the upgraded KT-4. Now once you have this last piece guys, you can go ahead and swim your way back up to the basement area. Once you're there and you go past Mule Kick, just take a right and head to the back wall. There will actually be a second workbench where you can now place your KT4 and grab the upgraded Mass Amune. So you guys officially know how to upgrade the KT4 to the Masamune. Quick easy tutorial for you guys. Please make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I wanted to throw out two shout outs real quick. One to my girlfriend, Adam Bomb Baby, and the other to a good friend of mine, Mr. Bailey Gaming. Both those links will be down in the description to check their channels out. And as always guys, keep gaming, keep your head up, have an amazing day, and thank you so much for watching.